NixOS 84. Bleeping NixOS made my other Linux unbootable. You may have used the NixOS graphical installer available on nixos.org to install NixOS to a system that already has Linux on it. In some circumstances, when you install NixOS this way, it can make it seem like a Linux that existed on the same system before the NixOS install is unbootable. If you already know what I mean and all you want to do is fix it, please read the description of this video. If you want to know what's actually happening, keep watching. For better or worse, on EFI systems, NixOS Graphical Installer chooses to use the SystemD boot bootloader that allows booting to both NixOS and any existing operating systems on the same host. And while this works fine, if the only other operating system you have installed on the host is Windows, it can be a problem if you have another Linux distribution already installed on the same machine. Most other Linux systems use Grub, Grand Unified Bootloader, and NixOS on the FI systems, when it installs systemd boot, can make it appear that it has destroyed your ability to get to your other Linux via a grub menu. It hasn't, but it sure seems like it. Note that this problem is only related to EFI systems. If your system is an MBR system, it doesn't have EFI, you have a different problem because NixOS uses Grub as a bootloader on those systems. It only uses systemd boot on EFI systems. Here's a system with an existing installation of AV Linux on it, and I'm gonna to try to put NixOS on an existing empty partition of the same hard disk that has AV Linux. When the installer finishes and I reboot, I'll be shown the systemd boot menu, and it'll appear that the only system that I can boot to is NixOS. But don't worry, AV Linux is not going. The fastest way to get back into an existing Linux install is to use reboot into firmware interface. This will dump you into your BIOS. And from there, you should be able to choose the boot device that's associated with your other Linux. In my case, it's MX21. Whatever it is, it's not Linux Boot Manager. That's NixOS and SystemD boot. This is pretty unsatisfactory though because it's a lot more keystrokes to go through. You need to choose reboot into firmware interface, then choose your other EFI entry into your BIOS, and then you're dumped into your other Linux's grub, so it's three boot menus. Or it's possible that maybe the menu entry for your other Linux doesn't appear anywhere in your BIOS for some reason. We can fix either scenario by telling NixOS to use grub instead of systemd boot as a bootloader. We need to boot into NixOS to do this and cause NixOS rebuild switch to be done while Grub is configured as the bootloader. Boot into NixOS and edit Etsy NixOS configuration.nix and add the following lines. Also, you want to comment out any lines that start with boot.loader.systemd-boot. You want it to boot using Grub. Once you've done that, save the file and run NixOS rebuild switch. Uh, once you reboot, uh, you should be able to boot to either NixOS or your other Linux via a single grub menu. And updates to the boot menu files from either system will be respected and reflected at reboot time. Now you, you may be clever enough, if you've already tried this and you ran into error messages, something like, warning, this GPT partition table contains no BIOS boot partition or grub can only be installed in the setup by using block lists and installation of grub on dev SDA failed, inappropriate IO control for device and this, this kind of thing. It's complaining that it can't install Grub to your hard disk. It doesn't have to. Grub is already installed. We can, we can sidestep the problem by telling NixOS to use the no dev device as the boot device instead of whatever your hard drive is. This causes NixOS to only change existing Grub menu files, but not to try to actually install Grub on any partition. So we want to comment out the line that says boot.loader.grub.device equals my device and replace it with boot.loader.grub.device equals no dev. Once you've done that, save it, run NixOS Rebuild Switch again and reboot, you should be okay. Thanks for watching.